Welcome everyone. Let's give this a second shot. I was just live from a very special place and I got cut off. So let me start again. This is, aromatically speaking, it is my second channel and it's going to be a primarily live channel. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit subscribe. We're, we're, we're all new to this channel since we just launched it. Uh, but if you're not subscribed to my main channel, make sure you head on over there, hit subscribe. I see everyone kind of coming back. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. It might happen again, which kind of scares me, but I just got lost connection. So I am, Leslie's here. Hello, Leslie. I'm in a very special location today. Uh, I am indeed in South Deerfield, home of the Yankee Candle Village flagship store. So that's what I'm talking about with these live videos. Uh, why is a live uh, channel important? Because in real time, I can take you folks with me wherever I go, anywhere I visit, any state, any attraction, any museum, any just fun adventure in general. Today, we happen to be in Sal Deerfield at the Yankee Candle flagship store. And if you're unfamiliar with the flagship store, this is, I don't know how many square feet footage of this place there is, but it's the size of a mall or let's say two grocery stores. It is incredibly large. Everything a Yankee Candle that you've ever been looking for is uh, most likely going to be right here in this location. I just got here. I just got my coffee. I just uh, did a quick look around to see if there was anything interesting on the shelves that I haven't already seen. And I actually did find something pretty interesting. Uh, but before we get to it, uh, I want to make sure I see who's in the chat room. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And around that subscribe button, there's that little bell, right? A little bell. And if you click it, It'll put this, that bell in the parentheses. This way you'll get a notification every time I go live. This happens to be Smell It Sunday. It's a scheduled live. We're gonna be live every Sunday um, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hello, Monica. Super simple arts and crafts, Monica. But I am gonna be doing spontaneous vli lives as well. So you want those notifications when I go live. How is the audio? Monica, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use your judgment for this. Monica, tell me how the audio is. Thank you, Leslie. Yes, if you're in the chat room or the, the live chat, hit that like button. Uh, believe me, it, it, it helps me out more than you might think that it does. Audio is amazing. That's great because I was going to be using this and I think this was my problem. This is why I got cut off for some reason. Uh, so what am I doing in South Deerfield? Well, I'm going to be here for several days. I kept this secret from you folks, but I'm here for several days. Uh, going to do a new vlog. Uh, I want to try to do it a little bit differently than I've done in the past. If you haven't seen any of my vlogs from the Yankee Candle Village, Go to the main channel, youtube.com slash the candle enthusiast. Link is going to be in the description below. And uh, make sure you, you hit those, those videos because I've done tons of stuff here over the past two years. Uh, but this time around, I'm gonna do something different. Also, I want to uh, celebrate and see what they have for the semi-annual sale. If there's one place to be, for Yankee Candle semi-annual sale. It is here at the flagship store. And let me tell you, my heart was pounding. Speak loudly. I can't speak any more loudly than that. Let me put in the headphones. My heart was pounding. How's that? How's that? Is that better? Can you hear me more? Good, better? Somebody tell me. There is so, not only, not only is there so many um, uh, promotions, sales going on, but there's accessories galore, candles up to 75% off. There's Halloween items. Hello from California, Cruise Bat One, a long time no see. Um, 
and uh, I'm going to be spending this time while I'm here making sure. Thank you, Monica. The background noise is reduced, so I'm going to keep this on. You know, this was Eric's idea, Monica. Our brother Eric. He's good like that. Hello from Georgia. We got Karen. Is there anybody who's brand new to this channel who's never seen this face before? Is there anyone brand new? And if you're lurking, if you're kind of watching, but you're not commenting, come out of the woodwork. Caress? Caress? I want to put an accent on your name but I don't think it belongs. That's a beautiful name. And I think it said you're from Florida, so hello to you. All right, we're building up the chat a little bit. Let's see if you can see what is going on behind me. So right there is Popcornopolis. Yeah, that's where you're gonna find, of course, Popcornopolis treats, but they have so many like a Disneyland type treats, like popcorn covered apples with chocolate and caramel. It's insane. Um, it's, it's, it's heaven. I've never dared, uh, other than buy like a standard bag of popcorn, I've never dared getting any treats there, but that might change today. If you're hearing a trickling sound, like a fountain, a nice babbling brook, uh, that's going to be because there is uh, a fountain. You can kind of see it right here. There's a fountain right here next to me. I am in um, the brand new Obampan uh, Cafe. Now, they have the restaurant cafe outside, but this one is actually within the parameters of the main building. Is it busy at Yankee Candle Village today? It is certainly pretty busy. I mean, for this time of year, I mean, it is a Sunday. It is semi-annual sale, but... It is, it is kind of busy. I had to maneuver around. That's why I'm not, I'm not going to be vlogging today. Like, I'm going to take you guys around on a tour, show you, you know, a little sneak peek of what's going on. But tomorrow, I'm going to be making a video and, and I will be doing possibly, maybe, just maybe another live on the main channel. Not this channel, on the main channel. But I want to do it early before the crowd gets here so that I'm not videotaping people, I'm not interfering with everyone's experience here at the village. So did anybody say? Oh, look at this. C -c Caress, am I saying her name right? She's reminding everybody about my eBay auctions. Yes, I put up a little ad last night of about 12 candles, more or less, uh, that I've put up on eBay. Now all the proceeds come right back to the show. It's not paying for my groceries. You know, it's, it's, it's not paying for, you know, to get my car washed. Uh, it, all the money comes back into the show for traveling, for purchasing of, of, of candles and, you know, so on and so forth. But uh, all the auctions started at 99 cents. Not only that, these candles that are on eBay right now are not even released yet, at, at least in the format that uh, they're in. I have all the house warmers that uh, will be released later on in the season um, for sale, 99 cents. And if you buy more than one or if you buy three, you get a really good shipping price. Uh, so before the day's over, they're gonna be ending in several hours make sure you go over to ebay.com slash USR slash aromatic adventures. If someone could be a doll and actually type that in, that would be amazing. If someone could actually post the link so everyone can see it with their eyes. If you're watching this later, I'll have the link in the description below, but it might be too late by that point. All right, so let's jump right into it. So, like I said, when I got here, I got my coffee, I got some sparkling waters, and I took a really quick, rapid look around, and I found something pretty interesting. And if you read the headline of this video, you might, be, you might know what I'm talking about. Now, 
if you're a, let's say a veteran of Yankee Candle um, products, you've been buying Yankee Candle products for at least four or five years, you'll know that uh, when Yankee Candle retires a candle and brings it back for a limited time, it, was, it used to be called Yankee Candle Treasures. Yankee Candle Treasures. And there was always in your storefront a section where the treasures was available. It's usually one hutch where all of the, the treasures could be found. However, in the past year and, yeah, just about a year, a little bit longer than a year, they returned or they, 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 they changed the name from treasures to returning favorites. You see that right there? Patchouli, this is, um, you know, this has been in the lineup for Yankee Candle for uh, at least 16, 16, maybe even 20 years. This has been in the lineup. Uh, so it has been officially retired, but now it's a returning favorite, which means it'll come back from time to time, but it won't be a part of their standard lineup. Uh, it took a long time for Yankee Candle to decide on what the label was going to look like. First, there was a banner that said returning favorites. Now we got the returning favorites here. We got a different font for the name of the candle right there. And again, it's a little bit different aspect ratio, but we have the full image, not like the cropped U.S. labels. New font up top as well. Okay, so why am I bringing this up? Well, guess what I found? A candle that's been gone, a candle that has been off the shelves for several years. I really wish I had the exact dates, um, but like I said, some of you veterans may be familiar with this candle right here, and that is gonna be cinnamon vanilla. What is going on here? Cinnamon vanilla, yes, that was a Yankee candle. Probably about four years ago, if I had to guess, it was retired. And I found it here in the returning and the returning favorites section, but it doesn't have the returning favorites label. What's going on? So I don't know what this means. There's several guesses I have. I think that this might be released as an online exclusive at some point. It does have uh, the beverage on there and a lot of the, the 2008 spring candles have beverages. So maybe this will be a returning candle that will be an online exclusive. Maybe, quite possibly, this is not the only time this has ever happened, where maybe this is just exclusive to the Yankee Candle Village and maybe some other places that carry Yankee Candle products, like Colts or uh, Home Goods, Marshalls, so on and so forth. But to my knowledge, I haven't seen this um, anywhere like Bed Bath & Beyond, n n no place like that. So while I have it in my hand, and if you've never burned it, you've never smelled it, how about we break this down systematically? Let me give this a sniff and let me do the best I can ad-libbing and trying to be as efficiently speedy as possible. All right. Now we're gonna do a little swirl, swirl, swirl. Uh, now, it's been a while since I talked about this swirl. People ask me why I do it. That and why I smell the lid and not the candle itself. Well, what this is going to do is create the smallest, smallest amount of friction inside of uh, uh, this candle, a little pocket of air. And what you'll notice is you do this, try it. If you have a candle, try it right now. Swirl like that and then bam, you'll get a little extra punch, a little extra power to that initial sniff, the, the attack of the aroma. And I smell the lid because smelling the wax, well, one, it smells like wax, but this is not a great representation of what the candle smells like. Now, what is on the surface of this glass is the volatized fragrance oils from the candle, which is what is gonna end up in your living space. It's gonna be floating in your living room. So this is always the better representation of what the candle's gonna smell like once you have it lit or uh, when you have uh, maybe the, the milk cups melting or the tarts melting. So cinnamon vanilla and on the label we have this glass of 
you know, it, it look, it's certainly milk, but it looks like it's got like little specks of shaved cinnamon with the cinnamon stick in there. Yeah, this is interesting. You know, to me, um, this is not like a cinnamon sugar, like cinnamon sugar, like coffee cake crumble smell. This really does smell like ground, like Saigon cinnamon. It's got a little bit of spice, but it's not like uh, atomic fireball or red hot candy spicy. It is a, a nice, nice, pungent, powerful cinnamon spice. Good chances if you don't like cinnamon, this might be okay for you because a lot of people who don't like cinnamon don't like the, the, the ones that smell like atomic fireballs, the ones that smell hot, like literally spicy. But it's balanced really nicely. Now, that cinnamon is powerful, but it's not going to seem as powerful. Why? Balanced. Because it's being balanced with a dairy creaminess, right? It's going to kind of serve as a foundation for that cinnamon. And what that does is uh, the perception is a diminished aroma of that cinnamon. So it's not as powerful on the nose, but it's strong. So that means it will fill up your living space really well. And when I say dairy, dairy quality, yeah, I mean, this smells like, you know what? I don't know if this is still done. Uh, people, you ever have like warm milk? Uh, maybe this is something like people did back in like the mid-century, but you know, before bed or if they were feeling sick, they'd warm up milk and it'd make you all sleepy. Uh, well, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Uh, and if that sounds like it's a gross thing to you, don't, don't let it. Uh, it's, it's not. Warm milk is not like stale or sour milk. But this has that, that very distinguishable smell because when milk is served cold, you're stifling a lot of the flavors. That goes for any beverage. You uh, make, a, make a beverage cold, you're going to stifle the aromas. But if you heat that beverage up, you get more aromatic. And that's what happens when you have warm milk. You're just, you're tasting it more, you're smelling it more. And to me, that's kind of what's happening. There's almost like an eggnog richness. Or Monica, Monica buys, my, my sister-in-law, she buys uh, unpasteurized. I think that's what it is. It's called raw milk. And like, like old fashioned style, like cream on top, milk on the bottom. You gotta shake, shake, shake before you pour. And when you have a glass of that milk right here, I mean, there's certainly a vanilla, it's in the title. I just wanna give you a fun descriptor to play with. Yes, yes, I was gonna say, I was gonna say for a second, wait a minute. Like chocolate milk, it doesn't smell like chocolate milk, but I was gonna say, they don't make vanilla milk, but yes, they do. I don't know if it's real milk, but uh, Nesquik, I remember in college, there used to be a vending machine. It's kind of kind of gross to think about it. Like in between classes, you would drink like a big thing of sugared milk, but they had vanilla Nesquik. Uh, and that, to me, with that warm milk, with that cinnamon, that is what this is smelling like. And the the, the the descriptor that I want to end off on, and I wanted to save this to the end, and it's the first thing that I noticed when I smelled this candle, but I, I try, uh, you know, I try not to, 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 to make it seem like I'm making fun of candles. I just, I'm very nostalgic with my descriptions, my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my descriptions and my descriptors, as I should say. This smells like you poured yourself a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. You ate it, right? But you didn't drink that milk. The milk that's left over from that cinnamon toast crunch, bam, right? Not kidding, not kidding. Don't let that gross you out, but we all know that smell, right? The smell of that sweetened and spiced with ground cinnamon floating around in our milk. This is a great candle. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't think, this is gonna be on the, the milder side of intensity, so I don't think this is going to 
really serve as a monstrous candle to, you know, it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna tear down the house as far as intensity goes, but this will be great for a smaller, more intimate room, bedroom, bathroom, foyer, something small, something smaller. Or if you want a nice smooth linger of uh, an aroma, like something when someone walks in your house, they don't necessarily like, ooh, I smell a candle, but subconsciously they're kind of feeling it, they're getting it, they're smelling it, right? If you want it to work on a subconscious level, then you could put it in your living room. But this is not, like I said, not going to be on the high side of intensity. So cinnamon, vanilla, I'll keep you guys up to date when I know a little bit more of what is happening with this candle. For me, there is no news. Nicole, how we doing? Nice to see you. Uh, Nicole, we were just talking about this candle that I found at Yankee Candle Village in South Deerfield. All right. So now I want to hear from you guys. What have we purchased? This is an interactive experience. What have we purchased for the semi-annual sale? Is there things that I should look out for when I'm here, things that you've found? Is there any candles that you would like me to give my evaluation on, share my thoughts while I'm here? What's great about being here is I don't have to actually physically buy the candle. I can just come here and do my analysis right on one of these tables. So let me know about that. And when this video is officially posted, if you come back, about 15 minutes after this video is concluded, the comment section will open up. Just list, list candles, list questions, list things that you bought, but I wanna hear from you guys right now. Um, what, uh, any questions you might have, anything that you've seen as far as semi-annual sale, what has been your best purchase? What did you like? What were you disappointed by? And then we'll go on a little walkabout after that. We found Snowflake Cookie Votus. That was the most exciting, yeah. Snowflake Cookie. Uh, Snowflake Cookie for me was always in that realm of Christmas cookie or sprinkled sugar cookie. Really nice one, uh, really nice one. Beautiful pink wax. I still have one somewhere in my collection, which reminds me I will be making a video finally of my whole collection um, and uh, I'm just trying to organize it in a way where I can keep the video short but show you everything that I have that's coming up in the very near future do they have black current candles well Yankee Candle does make a black current candle it, but it is a, a UK or European candle uh, and unfortunately, unfortunately, it's the one thing about the villages, they do not carry the, the UK European fragrances, which is, um, I don't know, a little bit of a bummer. Uh, but pretty soon, the candles that uh, are going to be available in the UK and in Europe are going to be made uh, abroad. They won't be made in South Deerfield anymore. Stocked up on Jack Frost with the semi-annual sale and tried to break out of my usual, my usual box by getting a fresh, new, a few fresh and floral. So you wrote that perfectly. I just, I can't read. I need glasses. Break out of the usual. Yeah, so expanding the horizons, experimenting with things that maybe at first you don't enjoy. How many of us enjoyed fancy cheeses, how many of us enjoy things like eggnog, how many of us enjoyed like cocktails and stuff the first time we tried them, like gin, for example, right? A lot of this stuff is an acquired thing, so we need to experiment, we need to keep opening up those avenues and experimenting, exploring, and then uh, this is how we grow and kind of evolve as far as what we like to burn. And our burning preferences. Uh, okay, I missed a couple here. 
I recently picked up Cherries on Snow at semi-annual sale. I've never thought of it just as Christmas. Yeah, you know what? It's actually not in my Christmas section in my collection. It's in my winter section. And I would never burn it for Christmas. Oh, I mean, I would burn it. It's not like I would be opposed to it. But to me, that, that is a winter candle. And I am fascinated with that candle. I, I spoke briefly about it in one of my uh, previous videos about if you smell that candle, there is a perception of ice. Look, ice doesn't have a distinguishable, uh, distinguishable aroma. But when you smell it, it's not necessarily, necessarily a cooling sensation. But it smells like you're like smelling ice cubes it's it's a crazy thing i don't know what the secret is to that ba, 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 ba. i have to go back i have to go back my favorite during eric says that my favorite during the semi-annual sale was finding the returned jar of chocolate truffle that's a good one that's a good one you know chocolate truffle if chocolate layer cake is a little bit too strong for you Chocolate truffle is one that you should definitely look for. It's, it's just a little bit more of a restrained chocolate layer cake, of course, with other subtleties as well. Angie Clementine, she's around, she's in the house, she's discovered the new channel. Hi everyone, my best find at the semi-annual sale was the Halloween candles, yes. Uh, considering all of the work I put into getting those candles early, uh, early this summer and being here, here, here for the Halloween preview party, the Halloween release day. I was here for three days documenting everything. The fact that I can just, you go in and you can buy like those candles for 75% off now, it still blows my mind. It blows my mind because I worked so hard to get those candles early so I could share my thoughts with you. Up, 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 uh, right before the sale, um, Juicy Grapefruit was available online. I stocked up Juicy Grapefruit. Once again, I'm hearing great things about Juicy Grapefruit, and that's one I do not own. But it's brought up all of the time. So you know what that means. i got to get my hands on it. Uh, Nancy is agreeing with Monica about black currants. Monica says, a vanilla amber black currant. Wish they had a candle like that. Well, you know what, Monica? Uh, you know, let me think about that. I'm sure they have something. And you know what? I, that would, I mean, just the way you're describing it, vanilla, black, black currant, and amber, it's clear that you're saying that because you like, uh, Monica loves Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. She loves it. And so a candle like that would certainly pair well with a Napa Valley Cabernet, a nice new world, super fruity Napa Valley Cabernet with nice vanilla spice from those French oak barrels. $3 on Haunted Hollow. Oh man, that honestly hurts my brain. Hurts my brain, guys. You have no idea how hard it was. One day I'll share. I should have been documenting the experience of how I got all those candles. There was a, a very long road trip involved, let's put it that way. Hey everyone, uh, this is Horror Queen, I'm here, uh, but watching on my TV, so not chatting. Just got on my phone to say hello. Okay, so Horror Queen, you're not here to chat, but you are watching, you are on the other line. Sorry about the shaking of the phone, folks, but I'm scrolling through your comments. Uh, just discovered the scent of pomegranate and sweet apple. Um, pomegranate and sweet apple. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, guys. I disappeared for a minute. Um... I'm not familiar with that one. At least I can't think of it right now in my head. Okay. So yes, Nancy, thank you for saying that. Hello, everyone who just joined. Is there anybody out there, I've asked this before, 
who has never tuned in for a live chat. And if you're lurking in the darkness, in the background, come on and chit chat with us. Don't be a stranger. The only thing I was hoping would happen in semi annual sale was to see, see America Collection for 75, 75% off. That would have been kind of cool. That would have been kind of cool. You're right. Uh, it's funny how, like, I've almost already forgotten about those candles. And if you watch my videos uh, where I evaluated them, I really enjoyed them. I really enjoyed them a lot. And they're playing Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Uh, breakdown on the radio. Tom, Tom's still with me. He kind of sits on my shoulder. He's this shimmering little angel of positivity. I may have missed it, but what are all the returning favorites for winter? So they have not been, they may have been leaked, but they haven't been announced. One thing earlier in the show uh, or the stream is I shared uh, this candle. This would be a returning favorite, but what's confusing is it doesn't have the returning favorite label. This is going to be cinnamon and vanilla. I think this disappeared in 2014 or 13. So I don't know what that means. Online exclusive, maybe. I am next, next to the fountain, Angie. I hope it doesn't have to make anyone go tinkle. Monica says, that's actually a bit creepy. You read my mind. I was actually thinking about Napa Cab when I was typing. Monica, I know you. I know you. All is bright. Yeah. Thank you for mentioning that, Carol. All is bright got a lot, a lot of flack. Maybe flack's not the right word, but it just was not well received when it initially was released. And yet it's still, it's, it, it kind of, it stayed on the lineup. Uh, now, it feels like years ago, it was only two seasons ago it was released, but I agree, I love All is Bright. It's great for Christmas, it's great for New Year's, it's great on a night when you have, uh, you know, you crack open a bottle of sparkling wine. But, um, sweet Seduction and Forbidden Apple Swirl Candles were 75% off, I picked up two for about seven dollars. Uh, the reason why I'm shaking my head is, again, I just want to state one more time how difficult it was for me to find those candles. Monica is always, yeah, Monica is, yeah, your favorite has to be sugared apple and citrus sage, a classic. That is a classic Yankee candle. I'm trying to think of the year that was introduced. Uh, early, early, early 90s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm, Angie, that's a great question. She said, how do I know if they were well received based? Uh, how, how do I know they were well received? She's, I'm guessing you're talking about All is Bright. Yeah, I'm, I'm basing that comment on reviews from the website. Um, and reviews off of the website and uh, other other folks here on on YouTube um, who just didn't share the enthusiasm that I had with that candle. In fact, some of them really were hard on it. Sugared apple was re-poured this year. There was a whole shelf of them here when I was here in November. All right. So I think it is about time. It's like a few more questions, any comments you guys might have. And then I'm gonna detach you from what you're, you're hooked onto like a fence right now. I'm gonna detach it and we're gonna take a quick look around. I'm, I'm not gonna do an in-depth tour of the semi-annual stuff because remember on the main channel tomorrow most likely there's going to be 
uh, a live semi-annual sale, what's going on at you know Deerfield sort of video. Um, uh, I think it's uh, it'd be a perfect video to put up on the, the main channel right now, currently. I think it'll get a lot of views. I think it might bring new candle enthusiasts to the, the channel or to the, the group. I heard that Campfire Treat was making a return soon. Any truth to this? Well, um, I, yeah, I mean, I would certainly not be surprised. I know that it's commonly found in places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. That's the place to look for it. However, Campfire, Campfire Treats, and what's the UK name, the UK name? Uh, they still make that one, I think. Campfire Treats and Campfire... I can't believe I can't think of it. Fireside Treats, thank you. They, uh, I believe they still, at least up until recently, they still had that. So, Outlets is a great way to get your hand on it if you don't mind burning outlet candles. Thank you, Sophie, for... Or Sophie and Philly Candleman. Philly Candleman's in the house. Make sure you check out his uh, reviews. He reviewed a lot of the new 2018 spring preview candles and uh, just want to share my support with Philly Candleman. He's certainly helped me out with those Halloween candles I was telling you about earlier on. Ruth Adams. Hi Shane. Why is it that UK doesn't, don't, they don't get anywhere near the selection choices as the US do? It's so annoying. Well, uh, that might be, that might change. So good news, bad news. The bad news is you're absolutely right. They don't have the selection as far as quantity goes. Also, the genre of the candles seem to be a bit different. Um, based on, you know, you know, here in the US, a lot of our, 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 Candles are themed after the Northeast, good old New England, you know, autumnal uh, sort of ideas and where there's a little bit more freedom to break out of that New England theme in the UK. However, 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 the good news is, like I said, UK and European candles, Yankee candles will soon be produced um, in the new factory. I, I believe it, uh, I believe the factories in the in Czech Republic uh, or is it Czech Republic or Singapore they have many different hubs now abroad so it's funny every if you've ever burned a Yankee candle before ever it has been poured within a mile from where I'm sitting the factory is right down the road but that won't be the case anymore they will be made abroad Feel the candy man, Czech. Okay, Czech Republic. Yeah, uh, it's getting confused. Singapore just, they just, um, what happened with them? They uh, just got Yankee Candle in Singapore, officially. Yes, so I think I answered that question. Caress? Caress? I just don't feel like I'm saying it right. Yes, that won't happen for a little while still. But here's here's another thing that's interesting: uh, the U or the, the UK and uh, uh, the European countries. You're also getting the new labels too. So if you're not a fan of the new labels and the new fonts, they're coming. They're coming. Yeah, you know, I've heard from several managers because they're going to be made in Czech Republic, there's still going to be collectors who won't buy them there because they want, they're still going to pay the hefty cost for their candles to be shipped from the United States to Europe because they want the candles coming from South Deerfield. They feel like if they're poured somewhere else, they're going to be different. That is a, you know... That sounds like OCD, you know, collector, Yankee Candle, candle collector kind of thing, but uh, I can relate to that. I can relate to that. There is a nice warm feeling, know that all of the Yankee Candles in the world were poured in one place. 
If you're joining us still with us, make sure you hit that like button. And then we're gonna be we're gonna be doing this walkabout really soon. I just want to make sure that I get to answer as many of these questions as possible. Uh, Mountain Lodge. Surprisingly, I don't own that one. Mountain Lodge. Yeah, Nancy, got to get on that one. I've never reviewed it. Excuse me, I've never evaluated it. Monica. She hasn't bought... You did own that one, Monica. I forgot. Yeah, so... Great point, um, Caress, that... The... You know, right now we're seeing a lot of... Like, say, for example, for the spring preview, we saw a, a calm and quiet place. We saw a rainbow cookie. We saw a sun-drenched apricot rose. They're also a part of um, the UK releases for the spring. So they're there, they're here. They're there, they're here. I find, I think, in time, that's going to change. Because, again, it's all about what's trending where. And what's trending in the US may not be trending, you know, and other countries. And sometimes there's just, um, you know, it gets lost, the name of the candle gets lost in translation. So they just have to come up with a completely different idea, a different picture, a different name, a different theme. And uh, it could be just a simple repackage of a candle we have here. Yes. It's funny that you mentioned that, Nancy, Nancy, about the milk cups, because I was actually informed about that um, by one of uh, the associates that I'm, I'm friendly with here, that um, they've really upped the scale of the milk cups. They're really pushing them. I don't know if they upped the quantity, but they're, they're pushing them harder. Sophie, once again, it's like deja vu. I don't think we'll ever get over it, but I hear you, Sophie, about the new... You can't even call them new because they've been around so long now. The, the, what they call the keyhole labels. Um, I embrace change. I found my peace with it. I think now that new candles are coming out and they're taking new photographs and they're, they're actually c composing the photo for this shape, instead of cropping like a photo, instead of like taking this photo and cropping it like this, I think they're, they're coming out better. My fear is that with the personalized labels and making the main label smaller and smaller and smaller, I'm afraid that they're going in a direction where they may just eliminate a labels, labels altogether one day, like pure radiance. And that would truly be devastating. I will, very friendly, very friendly, but I will be uh, at the main gates of corporate the day that happens. Just to share my thoughts, just to share my thoughts. Well, even the tumblers, right? The little, little, little thing on the corner says, peel here, peel the label off. You know, it's, um, I, I think, my opinion on that is that Yankee Candle has always had its thing going on. Uh, Bath and Body Works and White Barn, over the course of you know many years now, has their thing going on. They kind of found a comfortable place. Let each other be what they are. I feel like there's kind of some crossover. But certainly, they have to compete, but. Be yourself, man. Be yourself. That's what I want to tell Yankee Candle and Bath and Body Works. And I will be doing some more Bath and Body Works evaluations. Now, I always say this, but I really mean it. Now that uh, it's 2018, I'm going to be optimizing the output of my uploads. Very confident and positive about this endeavor. And uh, I was actually going to film it last night, but I, I ran out of time. Uh, a butterscotch. That's not it. Whiskey 
whiskey, butterscotch, is that the name of the, the Bath and Body Works candle? And there was one made with orange essential oils, uh, orange bitters and bourbon. Uh, I'd made my notes on those. They were a part of my subscription box for the, the candle enthusiast this month. So I, I was boxing them up and I kind of did all my notes, made all my notes on those candles. And man, were they really fun to evaluate. I had, I, I, I almost forget how much fun it is to evaluate Bath and Body Works candles because of the layers, right? You can be sitting there smelling it and then two minutes later you find this whole new wave of aromatics that come in. Um, so we got, we got to fit more time in for Bath and Body Works. I haven't bought any candles today, Monica, but that's only because I just got here and I will be here for a couple days. Eric says, I'm apathetic about labels, generally speaking, but if they went no labels, I join the crowd with the pitchforks. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Eric's serious then. I love Bath and Body Works fall candles, says Sophie. Yeah, you know, to me, it's just, I wish, wish there were more time. I got so wrapped up in Halloween this year and producing content and not just candle content, but Halloween stuff that I just didn't have time to film a lot of autumn candles up to my standards. This will change in 2018. I don't even have to burn Bath and Body Works candles. I don't even have to burn Bath and Body Works to smell the candles. Yes. Yeah, I, that, I, I agree wholeheartedly. You know, um, I have, as you can imagine, a bunch of them. Not, a, Of course, not as many as Yankee Candle. But whenever I walk by that particular shelf that has all the Bath and Body Works candles in my office, I mean, it's like an explosion of, like, lavender and chocolate and coffee. It's It's... Insane, and I'm not even touching the candles. Crossroads has no pictures unless you get one of their picture jars. Wait. Bath and Body Works Sweet Shop Collection is awesome. Oh, is that, I saw them there. When were they released? Uh, Angie, because I'm uh, going to I'm going to do kind of what I did last year. I'm going to buy an entire collection and review them at once. Yeah, I, I saw them when I was just there, but you know, I just don't I don't like uh, you know I don't do my heavy duty research with Bath and Body Works as I do with Yankee Candle. When were they released? Hello, Jackie. How we doing? They came out in December, so they just came out. Well, that's perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do then. Uh, I'm planning another little, not a road trip, but another destination-based video. So when I do that, I'll pick up the entire, how many candles are in that collection? Does anybody know? I'll pick them all up and uh, we'll, since I can't review them in the shop, of course, uh, I'll just do like a review, like right in my hotel room. Happy New Year to you too, Jackie. Thank you so much. However, that's how I feel about all this bright. It was nice surprise, very powerful. They came out in December, we're that, doing fantastic. There's six question mark? That's pretty good. There was 10, well, initially nine, but then after a couple months, 10 hit refresh uh, candles last year. I had to throw down a lot of money for those. Not really, I got really great deals. I think there might be, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's a way, unlike a candle, when you're dealing with Bath and Body Works associates, that you can 
kind of talk them down in price if you say, well, if I do this, how, is, there a, is there a promo, a coupon that's going to help me out? They've always seemed to do that for me. Like, the more I buy, the, the, the smaller and the smaller uh, the prices become on the candles. I could be wrong. They've been selling out quick. That's okay. That's okay. I'll get them. Yeah, the, the Bath and Body Works, I loved doing them last year, but man, I was slammed hard with the thumbs down. I don't mind. I don't mind. If I did a bad job and I deserve it, thumbs down all you want, but like, whoa. I wasn't expecting, uh, that was like unprecedented for me. And I don't know if there's just a, a tight-knit community of Bath and Body Works, and maybe I was poking my head in, and the fact that I, I wasn't a hardcore fan, people were a little bit annoyed. I'm, I'm a kind guy. I'm all loving here, all loving. There's no need to, to thumbs down. I'm discovering Bath and Body Works. I was discovering Bath and Body Works last year, just like we all do at some point. Uh, yeah, just a general comment, Angie. Uh, I, I really hope YouTube... I mean, they should have done this years ago, but I really do hope they get rid of the, the thumbs down button. It, 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 if you think about it long enough, I think we'll all agree. It, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You don't even have to watch the video to thumbs down. And could you imagine the feeling of working on a video for like three days of filming, five days of editing, and then you post a video, and say the video is 20 minutes long, but the first two minutes the video is posted, you get several thumbs downs, meaning people didn't even watch the video. You just have people who give you thumbs down by default. It's really, it's, it's kind of sad. I mean, I, I, you know, it's like I'm over it. It doesn't bother me too much. But, you know, that's really discouraging, especially when uh, uh, folks are getting into the YouTube thing in the beginning. You know, that could really mess up your day. Yeah, just stop watching if you don't like it. You can't thumbs down comments anymore. All right, so we're at 52 minutes and 28 seconds, and we have 32 people in the house. Do you guys want to see the Yankee Candle Village in South Deerfield, Massachusetts? I have shown you this place many times but what's going to be extra special today is that we have all of the sales. We have all of the semi-annual uh, uh, sales items. And what I meant to say is all the other promotions as well. There's not just some annual sale things here. They have other promotions, things they're trying to get rid of, things that you can't buy anywhere else. So let's do a quick little tour. And then remember, the main channel, remember this. YouTube.com slash The Candle Enthusiast. Go there, subscribe. Tomorrow I will be doing a live bright and early as they open those doors, and I'm going to give you a very private tour of everything. So there's not a lot of people, not a lot of noise. It'll be a very intimate experience because it doesn't really get busy here until about noon. No, Jackie, I was actually mentioning that before. They Sadly, that's the one thing that bums me out, is they do not have a section for the European candles. I mean, I get why they don't, but because they don't have seconds here. Seconds are the, you know, the ones that have the, the yellow or they're now cream colored, you know, meaning there's something wrong with it, whether it be the label or the color or the, the ratios of the wax, the fragrance oil, so on and so forth. Uh, but they don't, they don't have them here, um, the seconds. So the only, that would be the only reason why you could find the European candles is at an outlet because they are seconds. All right. Thank you, Nancy. All right, let's see those thumbs up, people. The more thumbs up we get, the better, the better the tour will get because it makes me feel good inside. Any good treasures? You know what? They're, they're, they're looking a little bit depleted at the moment, Nicole. All right, so let's do this. 
uh, nice, calmly. I've done live tours before, and they've gone horrendously bad. If you guys remember the Kringle tour, I was dropping the camera. I think I may be cursed by accident a couple times. I don't know. Just want to make sure I have everything I need. All right, I got my coffee. Let's take you guys off this thing. You're going to be shaking a little bit. There we go. Yes, and there are people looking at me saying, what the heck is this guy doing? Excuse me for a moment. All right, we're good, let's do this. I'm gonna flip the camera around and uh, just make some observations as we go. Here we go. Bam. All right, so we're entering the Candle Emporium. Look at the size of that. Let me get the camera. Good, how are you doing? Happy New Year to you. All right, so the Candle Emporium right here. This is where they're going to have just about all of the semi-annual items. Oh yeah, Angie, this is this is definitely the largest Yankee Candle sales room I've ever seen. So what do we got here? We got 60% off uh, perfect pillars. Can't you can't beat that. I've never been one to purchase perfect pillars, but you know what? there's always time to <laughs> change your habits. Yeah, you know, like I might get some of these, uh, like crisp fall night. Um, because of the smaller uh, radius or diameter right here, uh, this won't, um, this won't uh, be as powerful. I almost said the word throw, I caught myself. This uh, won't, you know, be as powerful in your living room. Instead, it's gonna burn slowly and kind of uh, keep the, the intensity at a lower volume, so to speak. But we have this, that, and more of them over here. And these are not just old ones. Like we have like this year's Christmas candles here. This was my father's favorite for this season. And Autumn in the Park, another one that I find gets sometimes um, some f flack or um, just people saying uh, some negative things. And that's okay. We all have our different preferences. But uh, I love that candle. Now check this out. This is something that you're finding a lot with the semi-annual sale. I'm sure you've seen at least a few of these. This was that wine collection that came out. Remember that? These things were like 40 bucks, weren't they? And I saw this and I have to say, I was kind of upset because I always like in the back of my head wanted to, you know, create something like this because of my wine background, like create, you know, wine slash candle themes and even have it in a stemless wine glass. But these were just not popular at all. Just like the, 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 the New York City uh, luxury candles that they made. They just were not popular at all. We have spiced honey and oak. And apple candied walnut. I think maybe that's the problem. You know, apple candied walnut is not... Those are not words, adjectives, I'm gonna be using to describe any wine that I know of, um, especially when we have red wax. So maybe that was a part of the problem. Now, here you go, Monica. Monica's still with us. Fig and black currant. That is gonna be an amazing uh, compliment. 
uh, to a Cabernet or a Sangiovese, uh, a, a Nebbiolo. Uh, uh, if you're into like Northern Italian wines like Barolo, this is going to be good. Or, you know, even, even better, um, New World and Old World Shiraz or Syrah. I would do like Australian Syrah or even California Syrah or Shiraz, excuse me. But um, very cool. And here, Halloween, there it is. Remember when I dissected this candle to separate the sweet seduction from the, the forbidden apple? So I could isolate just the smell of the, the, the sweet seduction. It didn't work out, so I ruined the candle. But, uh, you know, I tried. Now, I've been so tempted. Uh, I've, this, is, this is centerpiece. But you see these in tumblers all of the time, even like votive holders, this design. And correct me if I'm wrong, at least the, 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 the hurricanes, the jar holders were released for All is Bright, the candle All is Bright last, last Christmas season. And they're all over the place in uh, outlets and for really incredible prices. So I've always been tempted to pick one up. I still have not done so. I'm seeing something interesting over here. We're gonna move quicker. All right, so here we go. Grapevine and oak. So different packaging. Look at this candle. What's going on here? And it's funny because it's paraffin inside, is it not? That is paraffin wax. Um, this is very strange. I love the fragrance. That smells like a really young like fresh out of the barrel, like two weeks old Chardonnay with a little extra sourness. I like that one a lot, but I've never seen this vessel before. All right, let's, let's kind of spread our wings. All right, so any of you guys big votive collectors, well, this would really, really uh, be a challenge if you're on a budget. Look at this, 75% off votive candles, and they have everything. There's not just this row. There's two other rows of votives. They keep everything, not everything, but a lot of things in stock. Um, right here, for example, Lavender Sunset. Like, that's not a candle that you you're finding everywhere all the time. And yet they have this huge basket here. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is nuts. Um, I don't own this candle. I've never burned this candle. In fact, I've never even smelled this candle. Uh, this was a request for me to evaluate this long ago. That's why I stayed away from it. But I never actually got to the candle. They even have Tuscan Vineyard here. I know Angie remembers that one, Tuscan Vineyard. That was a candle that essentially just was not released for the exception of uh, a very short period of time on the website. Uh-oh. I gotta put my coffee somewhere. That's not gonna do. All right, sorry for the shakiness, guys. Napa Valley Sun. I've commented on this before. Uh, yes, I did live in Napa Valley a long time. You all know that. Uh, that is not a Napa Valley. Being behind the hills, LA, cutting through all of the green leaves, casting all of this beautiful light everywhere. And then once the sun dips below the horizon, everything turns cold and everything gets blue and the evening begins. I love this fragrance. But look what I just found here. Look at that. Ooh, Meyer lemon. Uh-oh. Is this a U.S.? Yeah, it's, it's got to be U.S. 75% off. 75% off. And ignore the copywritten music in the background. I don't know when this was available. I do not remember this. 
but I would buy this. I would buy this for my father. My father is a chef. Look at that. You got the votive or the tea light holder right here. No, you have the tea light. Vote is right, or the tart is right here. Is there any, I'm trying to see if there's any on off. There's no, there's no, there's no power, but there doesn't need to be. I like that, 75% off, which makes this, makes that only about $7 and change. Look at that snowman. Yeah, that's a nice one too. Seventy-five percent off. Oh no! I need this one so bad. Oh, it's got the old font and everything. Oh man, I might have. To, I'm certainly going to come back and get at least one of those. Uh, they will disappear quick. I'm sure. I'm surprised they still have them. So, let me readjust the camera. So again, if this is your first time joining me on a tour, uh, this is where you uh, make your own candle here at the village. You can make your own candle uh, by pouring these scented pellets of paraffin wax. You put it into a jar, they blast heat the jar, melting all of the pellets together, and you've, you've made your own jar. So you can make your own jar here, but you can also make your own wax hand. Um, you dip your hand into the wax, they miraculously somehow pull it off, and in the end, it looks just like that. This is a huge attraction here for kids, huge attraction. And look at this one. Flowers in the sun, limited edition. What's going on, people? 75% off. Where did this come from? Am I missing something? I do not remember this, this fragrance. Uh, maybe it's just because I, you know, I need the picture to help my memory, but I do not remember this fragrance. And really, if I had to describe it, I would say it's hard, you know, because with soy wax, you smell the actual soy wax. But this is kind of like a toned down version of, uh, you could say, I would say Sicilian lemon, but I'm sure any of the, the lemon citrus candles, very clean lemon. So a combination of the tart juice and the zest of the lemon and the, the lemon oil as well. The lemon oil and the zest is what makes it smell clean. The juice is what makes it smell refreshing. Flowers in the sun, they had it in Europe, all right. That's, see, this is good, this is good. All right, so let's, if you're ever here, uh, let me show you where you come to find the returning favorites, online exclusives, and uh, some of the other candles that are exclusive to the flagship store. Uh, now, Leslie, she picked up one of these this year. Every year they release a village exclusive, a balsam and cedar. And uh, because uh, Mike Kittrich um, II was an avid car collector, uh, Santa's always driving a different vehicle. And uh, yeah, I, I honestly, I would love to get that. Just every, every year when it's available, it's av available every year. You know, something happens, I don't have enough money and I never get my hand on one. There are all those cinnamon vanillas. There's so many of them. I bet you if you came in a week, these are all gonna be gone because there's ra rampant, rampant eBayers who come in here every morning and look for things just like this. It's kind of a shame. I understand the entrepreneurial efforts that they're making, but it's kind of a shame because that really eliminates, uh, you know, people who really want them to get their hands on those candles. Why is Moonbeams and Pumpkin here? It's a weird place. 
And then we have, look at this, some old labels. What year was this poured? This is probably poured this year. To, yes, it was, 2017. But uh, usually that means this was poured for non-Yankee Candle retail, like Hallmark or something like that, I believe. Yeah, so there's not much going on here. Got cherry blossom, spring days, but these are usually all here. We still have some of the returning favorites from Christmas, but nothing, nothing too over, nothing really surprising other than that cinnamon vanilla. All right, so here is the Emporium. Let's, let's, let's move, let's move on down here. We got, ooh, balsam and cedar. Balsam and cedar comes in every form these days, doesn't it? You can buy it in tumblers, you can buy it in vases, you can buy it in all these different formats. We've got more over here. Oh, the Winter Wonderland collection. Interesting. Look at this. What is going on here? This is not this year's label. Neither is this. And yet this is. See, this year they changed the labels and they were almost a square label, but this is what they looked like back when they originally released in 2015. Uh, or excuse me, God, has it been that long? No, yeah, 2016, okay. It was 2015. That is weird. And the thing is, I never bought this one, but this was before I was a, uh, a Frozen fan. <laughs> and uh, everyone always buys me, uh, buys me this candle. Um, I received several of these, I should say, for Christmas this year. Build a snowman because of my, my puppy, Elsa, baby Elsa, puppy Elsa who's staying with grandma right now. All right, look at this. We got tea lights. More tea lights than they would ever need, ever need. Um, gr great selections too. Uh-oh, here's one that Angie Clementine doesn't like, I think. <laughs> I could be wrong. I always poke fun at Angie, I apologize. And then, yeah, French vanilla. Can you believe it? French vanilla. Here's something that might shock you. Is the longest standing fragrance in Yankee Candle's history. Meaning it's the, the candle that has been in circulation the longest. Um, it debuted in 72, 73. Uh, in obviously a much different format, but uh, I believe it may have gone out of circulation a couple times, but it's still around. You would think it would be like spiced pumpkin. And there's more of those winter wonderlands from previous, previous years. Let's take a look at these accessories, 40% off this table. And uh, these are interesting. Like, candy dishes. I certainly would not serve, what would you guys serve in these? I would not serve anything in a liquid form. Is this, I don't know what this is. Could you burn a candle in there? Martini? Yeah, I guess that's what they are, right? Couldn't be anything else. Yeah, you know, I don't know why that was so hard for me to realize. I think it was because of the the, the oblique shape on the bottom. Yeah, I'd put candy in that thing too, Nicole. Oh, wow. See, here's the thing. Yankee Candle carries a lot of other companies products, right? You know, in their home and furniture and their jewelry and their clothing departments. 
And here's an example. Uh, so this is what you, you don't see in normal storefronts. You know, these other products on sale. So um, that's a very pretty statue. Um, it's borderline a little creepy, especially because you got this little fairy there. But I like it. I like that. If I had a front yard, I'd put that in my front yard. So this is going to be from, yeah, the, the kitchen and uh, kitchen furnishings section. Uh, so all, everything on sale, 40% off. And let's take a quick look at the accessories. Uh, I would have been sold on this. Did anyone purchase this? This indigo iridescent tumbler. There's one reason why I didn't get it. And I can't really demonstrate it right now, but it takes a lot of light from within to illuminate this guy. Uh, and that was a problem with several other jar holders I noticed. But if, if, if you could see the light shine through a little bit better, that would have been certainly one I would have picked. Now, I did purchase this one. This has been such a lifesaver. Uh, months ago, they had them in other colors. But I highly recommend if you come across one of these, you pick one up. Why? Because if you put a house warmer jar inside, or a tumbler inside, you can still very easily see the label. It's clear glass or transparent. And um, this thick, thick glass does a great job holding in the heat. So you get a nice even wax pool. Even if you have circulation in the room, uh, in the summertime, if you have the air conditioner on, or you know, in the winter, if this is sitting by a cold window, for example, you're gonna have better success with this versus something very thin like this. Fifty percent off all of these items. Fifty percent off. I'm sorry, I'm kind of taken aback here. Um, this caught my eye from a distance. What in God's name is, it looks like, you know, like Barney the dinosaur's egg. Like if he laid an egg, it would, it would look like this. It even has like the texture of an egg. It's Jurassic Park all over again. It has, it has the little dimples, like the skin of an orange. This thing is amazing. And that paint job is thin enough where if you got a lot of light in there, this would really glow and throw off a lot of light. How much is this monster? It's $34.99, but 50% off. That is very interesting. If you see this in one of my future videos, don't be surprised. I might be going home. Looks like they have two of them. Very cool. And I almost want like a round of applause for Yankee Candle this year. Does anybody disagree that, well, at least I feel that they, they killed it with the Christmas accessories this year. At least in the aesthetic that I enjoy. They had so many different styles, shapes, concepts, colors. Uh, I really had to turn the other way and just not buy anything because I just, if I bought one thing, I would end up buying everything, especially the, the, the Cardinal collection. Um, I want one of these for my Angel's Wings candle. Um, my Mary Tyler Moore Angel's Wing candle. I want to put it in there. It's just a little too big. But also, I don't want it to be creepy. Like, would it be creepy to have, like, a Yankee candle in, like, this case that looks like it would hold, like, an urn of somebody's ashes? 
it might be a little intense. This is interesting. This has got good weight. I hear that Carl's leaving. Bye-bye now, Carol. Thanks for joining. This has some weight to it, so this is not going to tip over. All right. More of those wine candles. The semi-annual sale continues into all of these rooms. You know, I never thought or considered buying a monstrous chrome reindeer before. But standing here looking at it, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? Maybe a chrome reindeer wouldn't be so bad. Maybe it will be in uh, my future. The thing is, you can't just get one. You gotta get like two and do like that. Like the girl is looking at the boy and the boy's looking at the girl. Maybe, who knows? Let me try those. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good to see you. Good to see you. Steven, yeah. Shane, right? You remember, right? right? Yeah. yeah, just doing a little video. I was here to um, uh, film some of the new spring stuff that's coming out. Yeah, we've got eight new fragrances, I think, coming out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I have them already. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, nice to, uh, see, nice to you. see you. I'm doing a live, but I will certainly. No, 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 you're not on camera. But I will uh, say hello to you guys before I take off. I'll be at the door. Great. I'm here all day. Okay, bye bye now. Some very lovely folks. Um, anybody have that? I have that. Okay, I'm a little bit thrown off there. I didn't want to get them on camera. Da, 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 da. Okay, the man cave. Uh, you know, I'm seeing a re re renovation of this room in the future. That is, if I ever decide to work with Yankee, the man cave, I think, would probably be the first thing to go. Let's get the men out of the man cave. Let's, let's get them smelling candles. Let's get them buying candles. Join the, the party, guys. All right, we got Woodwicks. We got Woodwicks alongside, alongside a Stonewall kitchen out of Maine, mango lime salsa. I don't think this is supposed to be here, but of course the village does have their whole Woodwick selection. And guess what, Chesapeake Bay will be coming soon. Uh, I'm not sure on a date when this is going to be happening, but you will be able to shop both Woodwick and Chesapeake Bay in your Yankee Candle storefront very soon. Not very soon. I don't know. I don't know how soon, but one of these days. Woodwick, highly fragranced candle. Got a plus wick. Very interesting ceramic vessel. Huh. That's kind of nice. That would hold the heat in very well. Let's go to the, the sales center. The sales center is kind of like the outlet within Yankee Candle Village. How are we doing? Everyone's still, still hanging in there. You're dealing with my shaking of the camera. I have a little bit of a tremor, folks, if you don't know. So my hand shakes when I hold the camera. It's unfortunate, but I live with it. Ooh, look at that. You got this hammered copper guy. I like that. It's kind of like the, the Moscule Mule mug. Huh. Anyway, let's, so the sale center smaller than what you might expect, but they have pretty amazing things in here this time of year. Uh, a lot of these outlet exclusive uh, candles. Monica, what was that? Monica just made a comment. That is that, are those Polish dishes? What we were just looking at? I have a feeling they were. 
have, see here, this is what I mean, like balsamic cedar came in these like beautifully packaged things. I don't know. So many ways to buy balsam and cedar. And the thing is, it's $24. So you're paying a lot for this thing. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. This is, you know, looks kind of like a, a whole Yankee Candle storefront. So we have balsam and cedar. We have spiced pumpkin over here or autumn leaf, perhaps. Um, but a lot of you folks have asked me my opinions on the Soho collection and the World's Journey collection. Whenever I'm shopping for, you know, Soho or World's Journey, honestly, this is the place I come because they actually have, you know, they really keep them well stocked. Um, you know, things like this, is, they're long, long gone. Look at that yellow label. So I was wrong about that. Uh, these things are long gone from Yankee Candle retail. Uh, but there were some really amazing world, world journeys were my favorite. Danish butter cookie, Bavarian pretzel. And somebody was asking about the Sea America collection. Was that Nicole? They have, which one was this? This was the Grand Canyon. I like this one. My favorite was, for me, surprisingly, because I didn't think it would be my favorite, was the Everglades. Look at this. Like sandalwood. No, I don't see Bavarian pretzel, Leslie. At least not yet. If you need an extra one, though, shoot me an email, because I got a bunch of them. Look at this. Um, very simplistic, very minimalistic labels, but more times than not, these really burn very well. They're just made specifically for the outlets. Now, the biggest tip I always give people, always, especially because so many people are upset about the retirement of candy corn. Well, you can be sure every time you come to the Yankee Candle Village. Yes, Leslie, I remember you picking one of these up, or maybe a couple. Um, you will find Halloween treats. Is this a repackage of Yankee Candle's candy corn? If it's not, it's like 99%. It really is, it seems to be the same formulation, and they always have tons of them. And you know what, when they all sell out, they just replenish them. They just must have like a never ending supply. So if you really need more candy corn in your collection, give, give Yankee Candle Village a call. Um, tell them you, you're interested in uh, Halloween treats uh, and they'll, they'll, they'll send them uh, right, right, right to you. Or if you're close enough, just come by and pick them up. Lunilla, Lunilla was released in retail this year which is interesting. This was usually, this is something, you know, you would find at like Marshalls and Home Goods in previous years. Da, 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 da. Now, Happy Hanukkah is not the same as Festival of Lights. That I can tell you for sure. All right, so now we're going to start talking about Halloween. Yankee Candle Halloween accessories, 50% off regularly marked items. Items on this display only. Look at this. And hold that up against the light. It seems to be, it has like a purple tinge to it. It's very dark, though. It may just be black glass. And it has those amber, um, crisscross, angular uh, lines. I don't remember this one. Am I going nuts? They should be 75% off here, right, Angie? And they have it in the little guy, too. It's weird. I don't remember these. Um, this was released this year. 
put your house warmer in there. I did not take one of those home. This is not a Yankee Candle product. Actually, am I wrong? It says the Yankee Candle Company. But this must be really old because look at that, look at that font there. It actually says Yankee Candle Co. Did this come out? Oh, it's $75. What? Did this come out this year, this past year? $75. I don't know. I love the Yankee, but I don't know about that. And I lost my coffee. There it is. We have our bony bunches. Again, just laughing, you know, to the to you know the fact that you know when Leslie and I were here for the Halloween preview party, how people were rushing in the doors and throwing these things in their basket as if they were hundred dollar bills, and yet here they are, here they are, fifty percent off. I really don't think any one of these sold out this year, like on the first day. There's been years when these things have sold out like within 13 minutes, but this year, nothing really sold out too quick. It took a couple of weeks for um, like the, uh, the bony suspects lineup to sell out. It took a little time. Yeah, Bony Bunch, luckily I was never bitten by the Bony Bunch uh, thing. You know, I just never was, I was never drawn to it. I had a few of them, but the reason why I say luckily is because if I had really liked them, I would be one of those people that would have to have every single one, and I'm glad that is not the case. 50 percent off again Christmas selection not 75 you would think we'd see a lot more of 75 I don't know does that belong there I don't think it does oh you're okay what what this is like the wicked witch of the east the West, I always get them mixed up. I don't know when this came out. It's 575. Does that mean it's 575 with 75%? On? I've never seen that before in my life. Heard the picture is not looking so good. Is that the case, folks? I think we're going to be wrapping things up soon. But uh, we can't end the video without seeing at least a few treats and a quick step into the Bavarian Christmas village okay well it's struggling so maybe this is a good time let's try to get into the christmas village now uh, i might as well flip the camera around and do my kind of sign out right now thank you for joining me if you are new to this channel please remember to hit subscribe a lot of very fun very interesting locations live streams chats to come. We want you to be a part of this little positive community. I call it the Candle Enthusiast Bubble. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the main channel, make sure you go over there. The, can the Candle Enthusiast. And remember, tomorrow, live back here at Yankee Candle Village and several other videos will be coming out in the near future. So uh, thanks for joining today. Get a few last images of the Christmas Village. It's Christmas all over again. It's Christmas all over again. And uh, make sure you come on back uh, in about a half hour to leave a comment. Remember, 
things we want to see tomorrow, things, candles you want me to evaluate. If there's a place here at the village I've never shown you and you want to see it, or something I've shown you but you want to see more of it, just let me know. Or just come back and leave a comment to say hello. That's it. Uh, I'm going to take a little look at some Jim Shore here, and I'm going to close out in just a minute. Thanks again, guys. Have a great uh, Sunday, and we'll see you again very soon. Oh, yeah. Aurora in her blue dress. Have I told you before that I own this? I do. Bye bye, Eric. And I own this one too. However, I do not own Prince Charming. 